Hi, um, I'm just going to do a quick tutorial on how to set up a bit of an ad hoc IDE for Asymptote. It's a, a vector language for drawing diagrams. Uh, what I've got open here is a directory with an Asymptote file in it, which I've also got open here in Get It. Um, and down the bottom I've got a terminal window. So what we're going to do is we'll just run the command that I normally run to uh, render the file from the uh, the source file I've got up here, so we'll just run that. Uh, an EPS file will uh, show up in this directory in a second with the uh, our image in it. There we go, we'll open that up. This is the diagram I've been working on, it's not complete but we're getting there. Um, now let's say I want to change this H here to a B. Go over to the source file, change it to a B, I'll save it, go down here, rerun my command, and that'll re-render it. Uh, the image viewer over here will reload that as soon as it detects that it's changed. And as we can see, it's changed from a H to a B. Now that can get a little bit tedious doing that over and over again, so what we might do instead is run this command here. Um, all it is is a while loop. Um, the condition is true, so it's just going to keep looping through. And what it's going to do is use inotify wait from the inotify tools package, and it's waiting for a close write condition on the file one.asy, which is our file up here with the uh, source in it. Um, and then once it detects that the file has been closed after being opened from writing, it's going to run this command here, which is our uh, command that we're using up here just to render the file. So we'll do that now. And it's set up a watch, so that means it's ready to go. Now let's change that B back to a H. And all you have to do is save the file. And we can see here it's detected the close right uh, condition. And any second now, this should over here reopen the change file and we've got the H here instead of the B, just like we wanted. So it's a bit of a productivity gain and it allows you to just concentrate on working on the diagram instead of having to, you know, continually do things in the terminal windows. Um, and if any errors come up in your file, they do pop up down here in the bottom. So you, it's, it's sort of like an IDE for any other programming language. Alright, thanks for watching.